This show is dedicated to ladies and lady-adjacent folks out there. We're going to be talking about perimenopause, so buckle up. This ride gets a bit bumpy. Hi, I'm Dr. Margaret Cochran, and this is Wisdom, Love, and Magic. Perimenopause is the transition from one's reproductive years into one's unreproductive years. And sadly for women, that's often the context from which our value is both defined and judged. Today, we're going to look at the body-mind continuum and how physical changes can affect our mental outlook and emotional landscape. Do you know that according to the Office on Women's Health, or OWH, as it's more commonly known, it takes between two and eight years for a woman to complete her transition into menopause. And the march to menopause, as I affectionately refer to it, usually begins somewhere around age 40. It can be a confusing time as the list of hormonal changes and the symptoms they cause are not necessarily linear in nature. Bottom line, what women most often initially experience are things like anxiety, irritability, and crying spells, which are often dismissed as stress-related. And then come the cognitive symptoms. Maybe you draw a blank as to why you went into a particular room, or you can't remember what someone just told you, or you forget people's names, or even the names of things, and you begin to resort to the term whatchamacallit a little too often for your liking, and now you know something's up. Perimenopause is marked by one long hormonal fluctuation rather than the shorter monthly ones that result in ovulation and menstruation. So our estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, yes, women have some of that as well, dip and rearrange themselves, resulting in some annoying outcomes. Basically, a lot of the stuff that we went through when we first started our periods in puberty, we now get to go through again as we leave our periods behind. Things like breast tenderness, acne, irregular periods, insomnia, unwanted hair growth, and depression, anxiety, irritability, brain fog, and mood swings. Estrogen and estrogen signaling pathways are involved in a wide range of brain functioning, including mood, cognition, and memory. So if estrogen is on the downswing, then our body parts that require it to be at optimal levels are not happy. And then we are not happy either. Consider the hypothalamus, which functions as the body's thermostat, among other things. When our estrogen dips, it begins to become ultra-sensitive to body temperature changes, causing hot flashes and night sweats in an attempt to cool the body down. Night sweats mess with our sleep, which causes a lot of stress and inflammatory response, which can cause problems with, as I mentioned earlier, executive functioning things like emotional reactivity, anxiety, depression, crying spells, angry outbursts, memory formation, and even decision-making. Meanwhile, progesterone dips can cause a decrease in gamma-aminobutyric acid, or GABA, GABA activity, a neurotransmitter known for its calming effects. And guess what? This tends to increase anxiety, cause problems with sleep, as in both falling asleep and staying asleep. Changes in testosterone can cause depression and irritability as well. And let's not forget thinning skin, brittle hair and nails, and good old vaginal dryness. What all this means for trans and gender diverse individuals is not currently well understood, which is science for, we have no idea, more study is required. So what's to be done? First things first, go see your physician if you're experiencing any of the difficulties I've listed. It's important to rule out other things, like thyroid issues, for example, and make sure that they're properly treated. And you can have a discussion while you're there about hormone replacement therapy and other prescription options that are available. As far as non-prescription options go, there are some wonderful supplements, creams, and even devices available to help with skin, nails, and vaginal issues. Again, all things you need to discuss with your healthcare provider. There's a standard exercise solution, especially the strength training variety to help combat osteoporosis and yoga for balance and flexibility. And as always, be sure to check with your physician before beginning any exercise program. Watch out for caffeine, spicy foods, alcohol, and tight-fitting clothing. They can all precipitate hot flashes and night sweats. Keep temperature controlling measures handy, things like a small fan, ice packs, or gel packs. Eat decent food that's not full of chemicals you can't pronounce. And use small amounts of dark chocolate, if you're not allergic to it, to help with, well, everything. And if you find yourself struggling, please connect with a licensed mental health professional because happiness and your attitude are all important, no matter what's going on in life. And yes, perimenopause and menopause are signs of change. In fact, this P 
period, sorry about the pun, in a woman's life is often euphemistically referred to as the change. But that's a good thing because the only constant in the universe is change. And that means you're not really off center during perimenopause. You're right on track. Until next time, I'm Dr. Margaret Cochran. Be safe and be well.